It's talking about powerful lithium batteries and written off EVs, now hot property at salvage auctions. If you have a vehicle under two and a half years old with less than 15,000 kilometers on it, they're going for $9,000 to $14,000. Just the battery pack? Financial years of salvage EVs increased 200% year over year. And um, the wrecked vehicles have much higher price tags than combustion engine cars. One of them gets damaged. The whole thing's not salvageable. Like you can pick those different pieces and modules up and you can even replace the little tiny AA batteries inside of them. Hi, I'm David with EV World News and I'm back today with our resident engineer, Mike Herzog. How's it going today, Mike? I'm glad to be back here, David. Um, I had an article about Australia that is talking about powerful lithium batteries and written off EVs, now hot property at salvage auctions. So all across Australia at salvage auctions for when, you know, cars are being sold off by the insurance industry after they've been totaled out. And as opposed to being the regular parts people, there's people showing up to buy the batteries. And so they're trying to buy the cars just for the batteries because there's so much demand for them. And, and it's just kind of funny because people are like, well, what do you do? I mean, I, I couldn't tell you how many people it's like, well, what about all the la you know batteries going into landfills? It's like, they're not going into landfills. No, those things are gold. Yeah. Yeah. So people are repurposing from everything from solar storage units to off-grid energy systems that can replace diesel generators. A auction place that sells about 100 salvaged EVs every month and interest is surging. There's strong demand for these. Um, there's, a, there's a whole bunch in Australia of Second Life battery startups. And, uh, but we've seen this. We know we showed that one where it showed all of the EV batteries in the field with plastic bags over them to protect them from the rain. You know, that they were all sitting on their own pallet, you know. So I guess if any of them caught on fire, it was only going to burn right there. But the uh, it's that that's a, been a big deal in Australia for probably the past couple of decades um, because they, they are so remote in places there where the cost to bring traditional electric infrastructure, it's just, it doesn't make sense. Um, and it's not reliable. You know, you're running 50 miles, 100 miles of, you know, just one line down. And that's how you feed, feed all of these remote communities in, in the outback and old opal mining places and, and areas like that. So kind of this remote distributed generation models, it's really, really effective in parts of Australia. So I'm not, not surprised to see them jumping on that. So at the auctions in Australia, if you have a vehicle under two and a half years old with less than 15,000 kilometers on it, they're going for $9,000 to $14,000. Just the battery pack? Well, no. Well, I mean, this. Oh, the, I mean, you get the whole car, but. You get the whole car, but that's what it's going for. And, but if it's a 12-year-old one with 130,000 kilometers, it's going for 2,500 to 6,500. That's crazy. That's still, I mean, the 6,500, I mean, we hear of some Nissan Leafs selling for that, right? You know, so. Um, that's a big number. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of money. Now, that could be Australian dollars too, you know, and perhaps it costs a lot to um, get this stuff over there. But uh, financial years of salvage EVs increased 200% year over year. And um, the wrecked vehicles have much higher price tags than combustion engine cars. So it's funny when we talk about all the depreciation on EVs, well, if they're wrecked, they're worth a whole lot more than a gas car wreck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, anyways, I, I just, I thought that was kind of interesting because we, we talk about this kind of topic from time to time. What, what's, what we think of like wrecked and like, well, aren't the batteries damaged? If, if people don't know, like EVs, it's a bunch of AA batteries. Um, that are put together. I mean, they're they're more advanced, but it's it's effectively they're little cylinders and they're all grouped together and they're packaged in modules and then those modules are connected together. So it's not like, you know, one one of them gets damaged, the whole thing's not salvageable. Like you can pick those different pieces and modules up, and you can even replace the little tiny AA batteries inside of them, you know, with new modules and get those to be effective again. So it's. One one of the pads is starting to go bad, or one of the packs, like, well, there's three or four more of them that are probably just good. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting just to see where that's, you know, where that space is going. Because, you know, it's like, hey, don't go into the risk of battery recycling business anytime soon, because that's just, they're not being recycled. They're being repurposed. They're being repurposed. Yeah. yeah, and I, I there's a lot of people try, thought they were getting into that recycling business. I think they're really disappointed because there's no feedstock for that. 
And uh, I'm sure there's some, but not what they were expecting. And the batteries are lasting a lot longer than people expected too. So that, that's a big part of it. The clip you just saw was part of our live podcast. If you enjoyed it, don't miss out. Join us every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday right here on EV World News. We stream not just on YouTube, but also on Facebook and X, so you can catch us wherever you prefer. If you found this content valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share to help us grow. If you'd like to support our work, please consider becoming a YouTube member. It really helps us bring you the latest EV news and insights. I'll see you in the next one.